Hey you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 17 SOAP web services interview questions and answers for fresh and experienced candidates. 1. Mention what is SOAP. SOAP means Simple Object Access Protocol is a type of communication protocol, a way to structure data prior to transmitting it and is based on XML standard. It is developed to enable communication between applications of different platforms and programming language via Internet. It can use the range of protocols such as FTP, HTTP, SMTP, Post Office Protocol 3, POP3, to carry documents. In other words, it is an XML-based protocol to transfer between computers. 2. What are the elements of SOAP message structure? It is an ordinary XML document that contains the elements as a SOAP message envelope. It defines the start and end of the message header. It is an optional element. Contains information about the message being sent body. It contains the XML data comprising the message being sent fault. It provides the information about errors occurred while processing the message. 3. Mention what is the difference between SOAP and other remote access techniques. SOAP web service it is user friendly and it is non-symmetrical it provides a platform with the language independent SOAP uses HTTP protocol and the data are saved in XML format SOAP objects are stateless and hard to maintain other remote web service other web services like DCOM or CORBA are more popular but they are more complex DCOM more Corba does not provide any of these other remote services like Corba and DCOM have their own binary formats that are used to transport the data in a complex manner it is not hard to maintain 4. Mention what is the difference between JSON and SOAP JSON is standard to represent human readable data SOAP is a protocol requirement for transmitting information and calling web services using XML. 5. Mention what is the major obstacle faced by the users using SOAP. The major obstacle faced by the users using SOAP is a firewall security mechanism. This lock all the ports leaving few like HTTP port 80 and the HTTP port used by SOAP that bypasses the firewall. The technical complaints against SOAP is that it mixes the specification for message transport with the specification for message structure. 6. Mention what are the syntax rules for SOAP message. SOAP message must use encoded XML a SOAP envelope namespace must be used a SOAP encoding namespace must be used a SOAP message must not consist of a DTD reference a SOAP message must not have XML. Processing instruction. 7. Mention what is the message format used in SOAP. Message format is written by using the XML language. The message format is standard and it is widely used. The message format is like post in stock HTTP 1.1 host local host www.xyz.org content type application SOAP plus XML char set equals UTF-8 content length. 300 SOAP action HTTP colon slash slash www.guru99.org slash 2003 slash 05 slash SOAP dash envelop less than XML version equals 1.0 greater than less than SOAP envelop XML NS SOAP equals HTTP colon slash slash www.guru99.org slash 2003 slash 05 slash SOAP dash envelop less than SOAP Header greater than less than so header greater than less than so body greater than less than m career name greater than guru 99 less than per meter career name greater than less than so body greater than less than so envelope greater than a mention what is the response format for soap response soap response would be like http 1.0200 ok content type text xml charset equals utf8 content length 
NNN less than XML version equals 1.0 greater than less than so BNB envelop XML NS so BNB equals HTTP colon slash slash www.guru99.org slash 2003 slash 05 slash so dash envelope so BNB encoding style equals HTTP colon slash slash www.guru99.org slash 2003 3 slash 0 5 slash soap dash encoding less than so bnv body xml nsm equals http colon slash slash www.xyz.org slash quotation greater than less than m get quotation response greater than less than m quotation here is the quotation less than per meter quotation greater than less than per meter quotation request greater than less than so bnb body greater than less than so bnb envelope greater than 9. Mention what is SOAP HTTP binding. HTTP works over TCP IP. The HTTP client links to an HTTP server using TCP. SOAP HTTP is a method that conforms with the SOAP encoding rules. HTTP plus XML equals SOAP. A SOAP request could be an HTTP GET request or HTTP POST. The HTTP POST request mentions at least two HTTP headers. Content type and content length 10. Mention what is the difference between SOAP web service and RESTful web service? SOAP in SOAP. Communication between the client and web service happens using XML message. It specifies the communication rules like what are all the tags that should be used in XML and their meaning RESTful. It uses architecture which use HTTP or similar protocols by restricting the interface to use standard operations like get put post delete for HTTP. 11. Mention the advantages of SOAP. Advantage of SOAP is that it is a platform independent and language independent SOAP decouples the encoding and communications protocol from the runtime environment web service can obtain or receive. A SOAP payload from a remote service. And the platform information of the source are entirely unrelated anything can generate in XML. From Perl scripts to C++ code to J2EE app servers to send and receive messages it uses XML it uses standard internet HTTP protocol SOAP runs over HTTP it eradicates firewall problems. When using protocol HTTP as the protocol binding, an RPC call maps automatically to an HTTP request and an RPC response maps to an HTTP response compared to RMI. Corba and DCOM SOAP is very simple a protocol for moving information in a distributed and decentralized environment SOAP is the transport protocol independent and can be availed in coordination with a variety of protocols is the vendor neutral. 12. Explain how user use the facilities that are provided by SOAP. Put address it is used to enter an address in a web page. It carries address instance on the SOAP call put listing. It is used to enable the insertion of the complete XML document into the web page. It receives the XML file as an argument and transport the XML file to XML parser liaison, which reads it and puts it as a parameter in the SOAP call get address. It is used to determine a query name and retrieves the result that is best matched with a query. In the form of text string, the name is sent to the SOAP call get all listing. It is used to return the complete list in an XML format. 13. Mention what is the transport method in SOAP. Application layer and transport layers of a network are used by SOAP. HTTP and SMTP are the valid application layer protocol used as transport for SOAP. HTTP is more preferable as it works well with current internet infrastructure especially with firewalls. The SOAP requests can be sent via an HTTP GET method while the specification includes details on HTTP posting. 14. Mention what is the endpoint in web services. IP address of the server where the web services are running is the endpoint in web services. 15. Explain what is SOAP envelop element. 
A soap envelope indicates the start and end of the message so that the receiver knows when an entire message has been received. In other words, a soap envelope is a packaging mechanism. 16. List out important characteristics of a soap envelope element. The characteristic of soap element is soap message has a root envelope element. Envelope is a mandatory part of soap message if an envelope contains a header element. It should not contain more than one. Also, it should appear as the first child of the envelope when soap version changes envelope version also changes soap envelope is specified by prefix env and envelope element the optional soap encoding is also specified using a namespace in the optional encoding style element. 17. Mention what is the difference between a web service and SOA. SOA is a software design principle and an architectural pattern for implementing loosely coupled reusable and core screen services using any protocols such as HTTP, HTTPS, JMS, SMTP, etc. You can implement SOA. The message can be in data transfer objects or in XML. While web service is an implementation technology and one of the ways to implement SOA,